Greetings, dear suckers. My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peed. And welcome back to the Towers of Twilight. <laughs> We've got these little thingamabobs that can that we can use for teleportation while we search for the last piece of a thing that we're going to use for teleportation. Sounds a tad redundant when I put it like that, but never mind. Alright, so we're try Alright, so we're trying to find well, for one thing, we're trying to find the code to this whole stuff. But we're just generally looking for places we can use these in to teleport between them and all that in silly ways. Yes, as we discovered last time, we sadly cannot actually throw these, so that drastically limits the amount of places we can snake our way into. But oh well. in there anyways. I st still don't know how to get to this wand of levitation. Although it might just be a bit of set dressing. Being able to levitate would be real fucking nice though. Then again, who needs levitation when you've got crates? Me. That's who. Wait, hang on. Did I never actually go down here? Yeah, okay. I think I just completely forgot to go over here entirely. Well, that's a tad embarrassing. Oh well. people walking around on this metal. I don't see them, though. <coughs> Gotta be around here, though. Yes, here we go. Patches of carpet around metal. Yeah, I can dig it. Carpet allows me to get around quietly, and the metal makes it all the easier to know where these buggers are. Unless, of course, they're standing still. Then you can still get caught out like an idiot. <laughs> not that I am one, obviously. I mean, I didn't get caught out, now did I? Hi. 
Well, this is a bit awkward. Oh, or not. Jeez, I was worried he was gonna just stay there forever. I mean, I've got two gas arrows, so it won't be that much of an issue. That? Yeah, I think that's... No. I should be consolidating my body piles anyway. Ow. Oh my goodness. I think I just... I completely miss a whole fucking underground complex. Bloody hell. Oh, and that would be the portal stone, I imagine. Or apparatus or whatever. Mm -hmm. Hmm. This is... A little awkward. I bet if I wait for just the right moment, I could probably hit them both with a gas arrow. close enough but I could maybe no it's about to turn around isn't he yeah but wait a second Some <gasps> okay there we go one down I just gotta wait for him to be in a convenient position which shouldn't be too long Yes, yes. There is. And there we go. Easy PC. Any fire arrows? No. Hey, Cthulhu. Again. Yeah. Well, this Here is we my go. way out. Here we go. The portal apparatus thingamabob. Okay. I got the emerald. And the. Where the fuck is it? It's another one of those. Ah, here we go. And the citrine. Okay. I just need the. Amethyst then. And I know where the amethyst is. But the, but coming down here doesn't seem coming it doesn't seem to have helped me that much unless hmm, it doesn't look like there's anything up there. Unless I could get all the way up there. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> Okay, so this isn't particularly helpful to me at the moment. Oh, hello. Okay, bit of cash. Also, yet more crates. This game. This mission is real fucking generous with those crates, isn't it? Suspiciously so. Wait a minute, Mage Candidate Amesh. 
Hmm. He was a Mage Canada back then. Maybe that was... Maybe he hadn't changed his name yet? Maybe. I don't know. Oh. Okay, then. Okay, and... Here we go. The Amethyst Power Stone, as well as... As well as a modicum of cash. Alright. So that's that done. So is it so is the portal actually the way to finish the map or let's find out. Let's see where this takes me then. Now, where the hell is this? Oh! Nice! It's two way! Wait, are you even. You're so dead, pal! Okay, yeah. Wasn't sure if you would actually attack me since I'm just some random bozo, right? I should have known. Trust only your bow. Police will never help you. Oh yeah, in case I want to shoot a vine arrow into this. That's a great use of my time. I can't see shit down here. Doesn't seem like there's anything down there. It's pressing right click a bunch. <laughs> huh? Home sweet oh, home. right. That's the end of the mission. Let's not. Oh, well, actually, let's see. Okay. Yeah, no shit. Oh, my sweet Aunt Polly. Well, over 4,000 loot. Yeah, okay. As if I didn't already know that there were large amounts of loot somewhere in the level that I hadn't found. They wouldn't give me something like, like these and then use them for like, and then only let me use them for like one or two things. You know, come to think of it, this whole... Okay, so there's... The, I've got that portal, which can take me anywhere I want. Anywhere I can think of, at least. I've got all the power stones for it. It's not portable, but it is two-way, so I can just go anywhere and come back. So the whole thing was I was just trying to... I was just trying to get all the loot and then es then escape. But there's no actual prohibition on killing people here. What if I were to just drop all of these unconscious bodies into the lava or something or some such and then just 
live here. And that, that would mean not only do I have a fucking opulent main base, but I'll also have a portal that can take me anywhere I can think of. Imagine the possibilities for thieving. I could be the most powerful thief in the whole world. Nothing would be safe. Now that is a terrifying thought. Hello. What is your deal? Oh. Well, I got a ring. Well, that sounds like an that seems like an easy way to get yourself stuck if you don't have the rune stones or if you're not careful with them. <sighs> Speaking of being careful, jump gun. Wait, of course. Oh, how could I be so foolish? I know of a perfect place to use these. Not for going down, but for going sideways. Well, and also for going down. I think actually going down the ladder would have been faster, but oh well. I was wondering what these were about. Come on. Come on. Work, damn you, work! Fucking No Oh for fuck's sake Does this seriously not work? Come on, I know there's something behind there. I could see glimpses of it when I jumped. There's something behind there. Now just fucking get in Duh. What is this? Unless... Hang on. Okay. So if I were to remove this... That starts falling. Right. If it reaches the bottom, what happens to everything in here? What would happen if I left a runestone in here and this crashed down? Because either... Either they'll be unaffected or, or they might be squeezed out to the nearest space, which could just be these. Okay, but how do I, how do I do that though? Can I? No. Hmm. Hang on a second. There's one obvious solution to this, if this would actually work. <sighs> If we can't stop the thing from going down by putting something on there. <laughs> Didn't realize they could flip like that. That's pretty neat. Some nice physics there. I nearly, I nearly fell victim to some nice physics there. Okay. Maybe here? I'm stupid. I'm an idiot. But I'm also a genius. It did work. It worked exactly how I expected it to work. I'm just stupid. This is a lot of work for something that could very easily fail at every step. There's no second part to that sentence. 
That's just the long and short of it. I mean, what else are you expecting from me? This is completely in character. Okay, let's hope this actually stacks properly. Okay, can I get through? No, I can't. Okay, I'll, I'll have to move it, like, here-ish, and then... Will that be enough? I'm not certain. No, not quite. Gonna have to do it the other way around then. Makes sense. Probably easier anyways. I was just doing that because the order worked out that way. Okay, here we go. Here we fucking go. All right. Damn it! Oh! I was inside the falling block. Huh. So much for the warnings about me dying horribly from using it if it's too close to a fucking wall or something. This one was... Just, just straight up put me inside of something, and I was perfectly fine. Still shit out of luck, though. When I saw that the falling thing was pushing the rock, I thought maybe it would work, but no. Wait, what? Excuse me? It did work! It's possible! It's clearly possible! That happened! Holy shit! It's possible! Where was that? Where was that when it... Wait, what? Hang on, what? No, 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 that was already there. Oh, god damn it. Maybe if I place it up there? Oh, 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 maybe? No. Um. Okay, I'm... Uh, I don't get this. If only I could just throw these. Wait, what? They can be moved! Hang on. They can't... I tried... I'm fairly certain I tried hitting them with the crates before and it didn't work. But if this works... It's a bit awkward. No. Come on. Go fucking precariously. I don't know. This mission just seems determined to... screw me every time I think I've found some way of actually using these. I've found literally one place I can use up so far and I've been scouring this place for like an hour. Fucking invisible walls. Hang on a second. I'm gonna load up a certain something for a moment. Is there even anything through here is the question. Yes. Yes, there is. Okay, that's the way to get back, but then how the fuck am I supposed to manage to get here? What? Seriously, how? Uh... 
Oh, wait a second. I see what's going on here. Notice how you can... How... Unlike other walls, you can actually kind of zip through these almost seamlessly. Whereas it's all really fidgety when you're trying to go through regular walls. I know what happened here. There's not supposed to be invisible walls here. These are so you're supposed. To I accidentally trigger. No. Okay. There's. There's not supposed to be invisible walls here. You're supposed to be able to put the rune stones through here, but somehow they fucked up. They fucked up the collision boxes here, and now it's actually impossible to get in here legitimately. All because the, the fucking map maker just fucked up. Just screwed up the collision. Jesus Christ. How much... Now that's the kind of thing you really don't want to see in a map because you never know how many other things might have gotten fucked up somehow to screw you out of things. Jesus Christ, that was 500 bucks! A sizable chunk of the entire loot on the map. That's almost... That's, al that's more than 5% of the loot on the entire map locked away because... Something fucked up with the collision boxes or of this place. That is grotesque. Oh, and also this. To any keeper who finds and reads this message, this is the torque of St. Marcellus. If you have been diligent in your studies, you will know that during the Hamerite Imperium, the torque was the symbol of the Empire's authority. During year... During Imperial Year 562, members of our order infiltrated the Grand Cathedral and stole the Torque. The Imperium collapsed the next year in civil war, due to suspicions that one faction or another was keeping the Torque in order to install a new Emperor. The theft was approved by the Keeper Council since the Imperium had grown too strong. The world was not in balance. Be warned that the Torque must never fall into the hands of the Hammerites. It would rekindle their fanaticism. Slavery and other excesses of the Imperium must not return. Keep the balance, brothers. Master Keeper Cassian XVI of Fireseek. I... Imperial Year 564. Huh. That's a really, that's a really neat bit of lore, which is also a callback to another series of missions, the Hamride Imperium and all that. That I would never have found if I hadn't cheated. Funny that. Oh, you've gotta be fucking kidding me. Of course that random fucking trash can would have a- would actually be a switch. Naturally, why wouldn't it be? Hi. Moon Day, 28th of Sunseb. Imperial Year 682. It appears Marius has expired from his injuries. A pity. But there can be no mercy for those who defect to the Order of the Hand, especially when they try to steal books of the utmost secrecy to take with them. I must remember to toss him in the lava when I get the when I get a chance. Star Day, third of cold even, Imperial Year 682. Today we undertook the first test of the Codex of the Abyss. We managed to summon a demonic entity, but there was an error in the protective circle. The creature broke loose and killed poor Daxos. Still, even dead, he will be useful for certain tasks to be done about the tower. Water Day, 8th of Cold Even. Imperial Year 682. The, ex the experiments with the Codex have been most instructive. The second summoning attempt was successful, but the creature cannot be made to serve. It is too powerful and filled with rage. The circle will hold it for now. Need to bring in a full convocation to dismiss it back to the lower planes. Okay then. So if I were to just eliminate one of these candles, 
Yeah. Okay. What's this then? Oh. And this. Okay. Uh. Oh. Okay then. Pla casually climbing on air. Oh. Yoink. Hmm. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should plant one of those rune stones. Um. Okay. I can climb into the closed one, but not the open one. Makes sense to me. <laughs> okay, let's plant one of these. Oh. Don't I have some uh, slow fall potions? Yeah. Oh, that's not a real rock. I don't know why they put that there. Probably just to annoy. <laughs> Wait, which save was? Hmm. Whatever. Okay. Well, that was not particularly helpful. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Mm. It's not even that much fucking loot. I'm going to ridiculous lengths to find these little patches of like a couple bits of loot. All the while, there's apparently still thousands out there somewhere. Maybe in thousands of other tiny little... Oh. Okay. And a random fucking clock happened to be hiding about 200 or so loot. Ooh. Good cash and... Did I just see something through there? Aha! What's this? Talisman of fire! That was exactly what you'd expect. Okay. I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to be useful for. I guess I, I guess it's, I guess for the undead or something, but worthless to me now. Okay. I've scoured every single inch of the map, and not only can I not find any more of the remaining what is it 3000 or so loot i also have not found a single other opportunity for using these rune stones so jesus christ what a fucking waste of a mechanic got to use it one time would have been twice except that one of them didn't even fucking work. And that's it. I guess if I had gotten them earlier, they would have been kind of useful for getting around, but come on. Okay. It's, uh... Not much of a climactic ending. But oh well. Home sweet home. Indeed. All right, yeah, uh... That's that then. When the fuck did I destroy an iron beast? What? What? Where were there iron beasts here? And... Okay... Makes sense to me. 
Okay, whatever. That was... mostly a rather fun mission, even if the ending was pretty naff. And it had this whole mechanic of being able to, you know, use these things to teleport, and it almost never actually used that in any interesting way. You got to go drop it down one hole, and you would have been able to shove it through another horizontally if it had actually fucking worked. But aside from that, nothing. Maybe there was some very clever thing that I missed, but... Well, if I missed it despite scouring every inch of this goddamn level multiple times, then it wasn't that clever, now was it? This last part rather put rather a damper on things, unfortunately, but most of the mission was pretty fun. I still think he should probably just go back and drop all the mages into the lava or some such and take over that place. So he can use that portal to become the most feared thief in the entire world. No place, no matter how secure, is safe from him and all that. But maybe he just doesn't think that's sporting. I don't know. So that was the Towers of Twilight. A rather lopsided mission in terms of quality, but oh well. Next up will not be another Thief fan mission. Not exactly, anyway. You'll see. So until then, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave an nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers.